I'm James. And I am Emily. And I am wearing white. I'm pure. So he says. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. All right, so today in my hands, I have results. <laughs> so we're going to continue with our measurements month to month, even though we did it, we started our measurements for BBB and E. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to see what kind of every month, yeah, we want to see what, how we did. And we will be back with them, our measurements and our weight loss results for the week. After you see our Thursday and Friday, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. And I love Thursday because it's one day away from the weekend. So I don't think I don't think of Friday as a day like I don't even think of it really as a work day. It's just a Friday daytime at work is just a small inconvenience before the weekend, and I'm okay with that because I'm looking forward to the weekend. So it's Thursday. We are going to go, I believe, out to Rapid Fire Pizza tonight. Um, I usually get a salad at Rapid Fire, but tonight I think I'm going to do the uh, the no-do pizza, which is basically just toppings and sauce in a pan, heat it up. And we really like Rapid Fire on keto. So, But first, we need eggs. We need hard-boiled eggs. So I just wanted to show you, if you haven't seen the video where Emily makes eggs, the hard-boiled eggs in the Instant Pot, it's really, really worth doing it because if you don't have an Instant Pot, if you do nothing more than make hard-boiled eggs out of it, worth every penny. And these things you can get up for under $100. Like $79, sometimes $69 I've seen for a smaller one. But I'm going to make 18 hard-boiled eggs. And basically all you're going to do is you make sure you, put the, you have the rack that goes in it. And it takes one... One cup of Berkey water and then you put in your eggs and what's actually really cool about this is is you don't have to just worry about how many is on the bottom like I can stack these so that's my eggs and then all you do is put the lid on. That's it. Hit pressure cook. It's going to be on high and it's going to be five minutes. Of course, it was set to an hour and ten. That was the roast we made the other night. Five minutes. Hit start, and then it's going to go five minutes, and then we're going to let it do the slow vent for five minutes. So you got five minutes cooking on high, five minutes for the vent on it, it'll vent itself naturally for five minutes, and then you fast let the pressure off, throw it in a sink in an ice bath for five minutes. So five, five, and five, and with Easter coming up, color and eggs, all that kind of stuff. So it's so easy, and uh. What's really cool about the Instant Pot is you could fill that thing up. I could have put 36 eggs in there. It had taken the same amount of time. And literally, when these things are done and you crack them, like the shell pretty much almost pulls apart in half. Best egg cooker ever. Don't fall for that crap. Of all them other egg cookers and things like that, Instant Pot is the egg cooker. All right, so when I say an ice bath, fill the sink with some water, throw a bunch of ice cubes in it, and then, when you take your eggs out, you throw them right in the ice water for five minutes. Take them out, put them in the carton, whatever. Wonderful. All right, so one thing I noticed while I'm making eggs. These are the struggles. This is why it's good for an entire house to be keto. Because, you see this? When you have people in the house that's not keto, you have things like Twizzlers, 
and new crunchy cookie M&Ms. Now, I've been on keto now since June, and for the most part, I've done extremely well, and it doesn't bother me, but sometimes looking over, and I see the cookie M&Ms that I haven't had, or Twizzlers that look delicious. Now, I'm not being weak. I'm just saying that the struggle is real. So anybody, you know, if you can have everyone in your house keto, it's definitely a benefit. I've still got some work to do on this one to get this stuff out. Okay, it's for real Thursday, and James met me for dinner at Rapid Fire, and we are doing no-dough pizzas. Um, I got a deluxe with a bunch of veggies, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, olives. Very, very good. Um, James almost got the same thing. His has bacon and jalapenos on it, though. Austin, he opted for a hothead burrito next door, so... He is not keto, obviously. Look at that. And looks good, but not for us. Guess what? It's Friday, my favorite night of the week. Why are you in a bad mood? And I think you're going to see me vlogging a lot more because when I have this camera, everyone's nice to me. Like, people can be yelling at me and being mean and abusive. That's not true. He's been a jerk. And being mean. But as soon as I pick up the camera, it's like, what do you want for dinner, hon? You are so full of it. So, Emily is making omelets. Ew. Because I made lunches last night, and she didn't prepare for dinner. So we had nothing out, and I came home from taking the family out to a nice dinner <laughs> and I had I, I worked extra while everyone sat down and I cooked hamburger patties and stuff for so that Emily could have lunch uh -huh. and I get home and look even the bacon's frozen solid look at this everything's froze so all right, Emily's making omelets with the leftover pot roast that we had, the top round roast that was actually very good and tender. I cooked at 100 and or cooked on high in the instant pot for an hour and 10 minutes. Yep. So, that's reheating. Yeah. She's reheating the pot roast and prepping. She's about to make her famous omelets. And so she does this thing where she puts different kinds of meats and cheeses and eggs. I think it's her own thing. <laughs> uh. So that's Friday night. And I'm a little worried about weigh-in Saturday because for some that's odd why. reason, all week long, I keep going up a little bit of weight. And I have no idea why because I'm not cheating. You're probably not eating enough. Oh, I'm eating enough. I'm not hungry. Why wouldn't I? How can you eat enough more? Eat less when you're. Oh, no, that or seems eat more. to be my issue when I don't. No, eat. I've eaten plenty. I've eaten like three quarter pounds of hamburger all week long. And why are you in my camera? <laughs> like I said, he's been a butt today. No, I'm, I have to carry this for protection because she's nice to me when I have the camera in my hand. Hmm. Not true. I've eaten, today I cut back because it's bothering me that I keep going up. Mm -hmm. So today I cut back and for lunch I had two quarter pound hamburgers. Maybe you need to just trust the system. With only a half a piece of cheese total split between the two. Mm -hmm. And then I had a hard boiled egg. Maybe you need to trust the system. And then I came home. Maybe you need to trust the system. And I had a can of Vienna sausages. Yep. And like... Three pork rinds. Maybe you need to trust the system. Maybe you're just going to have weeks where it's not as good as others. Get back, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking. All right. So anyway, that's what's going on Friday. Omelets. Apparently, we could have had hamburger steaks, but I didn't get mushrooms. I don't know. That's my fault. Yeah, you need mushrooms. 
So I said, what if we don't use mushrooms? What if we have hamburger steaks with gravy with bacon instead of mushrooms? I, I think, what? It's going to get loud. Well, don't make it loud. We'll be back. All right. All right. Looks Here like is my omelet that Emily made me. It looks like a quesadilla. It does look like a quesadilla, but that's okay. Look at all that cheesy, beefy goodness with onions in it. This pan right here is messing with me. <laughs> Emily is still making furs and Austin's. I am. And I'm going to actually put sour cream and another piece of cheese on it right now. And that is my dinner. So... Emily came around and she finally nice to me and made me dinner. And I and I appreciate it. And we will see you guys tomorrow for way in Saturday, unfortunately. This is one of them days I kind of wish it was only Thursday. Why? Because I'm not having a good feeling about this. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been kind of stalling a little bit, like under a pound every week since we left BBB&E. And then last week I lose 1.6 pounds and then this week... I don't feel like I'm doing good at all, so we'll see, and we'll see if Emily wants to film and do anything later. I don't know. I think she wants to go out and party. Yeah, you're supposed to. That's how I always She ain't listening. Talk to you guys later. All right, that was just a little glimpse of our week, and happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. All right, so I want to show you guys a special picture right now. You will see, see this picture? This is Derek, but you can't guess which one Derek is. He's the, the big kid in the middle. And to the right, the bottom right, that is Emily. <laughs> like I said, weight has been a constant struggle my entire life. Anyway, that's just a little throwback uh, picture of Emily and Derek and her sister and brother brother yeah yeah their sister and brother <laughs> and all right let's go first off let's go weight results for the week for the week what are you me yeah my nose just pops so i am know. down one pound i am at 238.2 <laughs> exactly i've down one pound and that puts me at 76 total pounds you were reluctant to get on the scale. I was because, like, we had rapid fire pizza the other night, and even though it wasn't a cheat, for some reason it actually kind of like made me hold water so that I was like two pounds heavier yesterday morning. Well, I'm I, sure it's not the cleanest ingredients when I got on the scale, but it's, I mean, it's as good as we could do. Mm -hmm. My going out, we didn't have any dough, no crust, no pizza, no. We didn't have pizza. We just had toppings. Pretty much. <laughs> and we even opted out for the red sauce. And I didn't even eat all my pizza. I actually had a quarter of it left, and she ate it. <laughs> so you, if you've seen it in the video, <laughs> she's like, maybe you need to eat more. Maybe I do. <laughs> maybe we need to go back to basics. And one of the things that we haven't been doing on basics, not that we're not doing good. I mean, I'm still down a pound. We're not eating enough bacon. We're not eating enough fat. It kind of <laughs> goes back in the ways of you're trying to, you know, we have to go back to basics. More fat. Yes. So what's your result? Well, I think since we were doing BBB and E, we were not keeping track of macros. We definitely were And we did not. not, we have not done well doing that. In macros? Counting our macros, yeah. Watching. I haven't counted anything. Yeah. Ever. Um, I just don't eat carbs, and that's how it is. <laughs> this, by the way, is not Gatorade. This is a bottle that was my son's Gatorade bottle that I have full of mango Redmond Relight. <laughs> I have the pina colada. Um, you know, I, we missed out on a sale yesterday. What? Redmond, oh, the Redmond's, Redmond's sent April us, Fool's. sent us an April Fool's email, which it says, a new flavor... And I was like, oh, new flavor. So I opened the email and I scrolled down and it said salty sardine. And I was like, 
salty sardine. That sounds horrible. No, I was like, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. No, I was like, I want to try that. <laughs> and then it scrolled on down and it said April Fool's. So, Redmond, you got me. But at the bottom, there was a there was a code that you could have we could have used until midnight last night for twenty percent off. Twenty percent off, and we forgot, <laughs> so we missed out on that. We did. So you're down a pound. Derek is down two pounds, right? Yeah, yep. Derek's two pounds, and I am down a pound and a half. <laughs> so, I guess I guess Emily wins. Derek wins. No, he don't. He won't get up out of bed to give his, to take his measurements. <laughs> he forfeits by he default. Forfeits. He forfeits. <sighs> so Emily won this week, and we have measurements. We do. All right. So let me let me run through this. Th these are his. Yes. Did a total of six measurements, not including weight, waist or weight. All right. My waist at the end of, at the end of the BBB and E challenge at the end of February, first of March. I was at 46 inches around the navel. I am now 45 and a quarter, so I lost three quarters of an inch there. My hips, I lost three quarters of an inch there. My thighs, I lost an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter on my thighs. <laughs> I am still shrinking below the waist. It's, it's so weird because he's shaped like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaped like a funnel. I have little legs. <laughs> Big broad shoulders. <laughs> my chest, I lost another inch off my heart. I went from 49 to 48. That's awesome. My calf stayed the same at 15 and a half around my calf. Mm -hmm. well, and this actually shocks me. My arm, so I gained three quarters of an inch around my bicep after BBB and E. Mm -hmm. And now I have lost an inch and a quarter around my bicep since we got off of bbb &E, which makes me think that we measured wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's possible. So It is possible. Yeah. <laughs> and my weight for the month, I have lost exactly five pounds in the month of March. And during, that is a win. Yeah, from keto. So five pounds down the month of March. Mm -hmm. How many pounds were you down between for bbb &E? 6.4. So you lost more doing BBB and E. Yes. I think we all did. I, I lost more on BBB and E, but at the time I had more to lose. So I wouldn't expect to lose another 6.4 if we did BBB and E again. Really? Oh Lord, I don't want to do BBB and E again. <laughs> Carnivore, yes. BBB and E, I don't want to do that right now. It's too soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll make that an every January thing. Uh, okay. Or when we come back from vacation. My measurements for the month of March. I am down. I lost a total of five inches, by the way. Yes. I lost five pounds and five inches in March. That's good. Emily's turn. My turn. Okay. Down half an inch around the waist. I am down one inch around my hips. One inch around my thigh. My chest. Um quarter of an inch, right? Mm -hmm. Quarter of an inch. Yep. Calf is the same. Arm half of an inch. And total weight loss is do the math for me. <laughs> total weight loss is 3.4 for Emily for the month. Yep. That's it. I'll take it. What do you mean? That's almost a pound of wheat. I said I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> And she has stalled out the past couple weeks, so this was... This has been a really hard month for me, as far as scale. Well, we we reintroduced all the foods from BBB and E. BBB and E, by the way, if you've never, if you haven't heard. It's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I wanted to say bacon. Say it. Bacon. <laughs> All right. One, so so one, total inches for me was three and a quarter. Three, yes. Three and a quarter total inches with keto. For the month of March. For the month of March. Now that's hardly any, a lot of activities because of cold, stupid Ohio weather. It's not going out and, you know, she didn't go out and play very much. Come summer, it's on. Yeah, it'd be hot and she won't go out and play. I will in the pool. Oh, that pool. <laughs> Cannot wait. Why you gotta remind me about the pool? 
<laughs> Cannot wait. So, all right. So one of the things that we also wanted to do is, so one of the people ask in our group, do you have a fat bomb recipe? Well, I did have a fat bomb recipe. It was a fat bomb fluff recipe and she made it and it was wonderful it was but you have to watch it when when i was making it, it was well, like we, you get really, the carbs really add up we really watched quick. it and i don't know if it's even any good because that's been in there for, in the fridge for a long yeah, time it probably needs to be dumped because <laughs> i told him don't don't so uh, yeah, yeah i had a couple small spoons of it like and she kept telling me watch what you do watch what you do yeah so it's probably her fault that i didn't lose weight as much this <laughs> month. <laughs> no in hindsight so all the research that I've done. Well, first, before you say that, we got to talking and we thought, you know, we hear about fat bombs. We see them in the store. We see them online because, you know, Facebook knows what you talk about. So they pop up on your feet. And we're like, we really need to understand what the purpose of these are because we're still learning and we don't really know. So James stayed up and was studying um, on what exactly they are and what the purpose is, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can talk. <laughs> so I'm the one that studied. Ask her, what, what's a fat bomb? It's a, Well, no. Your idea of a fat bomb was completely way off track of what it is. You want to share that? Yes. When <laughs> I first heard fat bomb, I thought of myself doing a cannonball in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Fat bomb. <laughs> it just uh, sounds so unhealthy. So if you ever wonder what we lay in bed and talk about before we go to sleep, this is the kind of conversation. But that since we we've have. lost a lot of weight, we do a lot less talking. Explain what you learned. <laughs> we do studying of fat bombs. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I hope you can describe this. What I've learned about well. a, fat, a fat bomb is, so, all right, so even, okay, so the perfect, <laughs> shut me up. <laughs> all, right. all right, so the ratios, like in macros are, so you want to eat, I'm no doctor, I have to say that, so if you do, if you do anything like this, I, I'm not responsible. This is if, from our experience yes. and what, what, well, all the study we've done, we you at least want like a one-to-one -one ratio. Fat so, to protein. Fat to protein. So let's just say I'm striving to get like a lean body mass weight of, you know, like one gram of protein per lean body mass weight. So let's just say I'm shooting for like 150 grams of protein. Okay. I want... For a one-to-one -one ratio, I'm also shooting to get, with my fat and carbs, somewhere around that because that is the energy that we get. So if you have 150 grams of, of protein, you're going to want about 150 grams of fat? Minus the carbs that you intake. Minus the carbs that you yes. intake. Yes, so energy. Now, it doesn't always have to be, that's not a strict, you definitely want to reach the protein goal. The fat goal doesn't necessarily have to reach it, but you're going to feel better. Does that make sense? Because if you're eating high protein, you know, if no you're not fat. if you're not eating carbs, your body only does it has energy. It pulls energy from two sources. It pulls energy from it pulls energy from carbs or if, fat or fat. And if you're not eating carbs and you're not eating fat, you're going to feel like crap. Yes. And, and your body is going to hold on to the fat that it has because it feels like it's... And this is why we start. failed in the past because this we is, would think we need to eat chicken. Chicken, so, chicken, chicken. So say, you, say we eat a day of... We eat a lot of chicken and we reach our protein goal of... You know, I reach it of 150 mm -hmm. for me. I at least try to hit 150 grams of protein. Right. But if I'm eating things like chicken, I could be so far down... With fat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So e the purpose e of the e fat bomb is even to bring that fat ratio up? It's to bring the fat ratio up. And the fat also satiates you, which means it makes you not hungry. You know, if you eat a bunch of protein, you're still hungry because there's something in the fat that says, the sensors in your body that says when you're starting to get fat that we're done. That you're starting to get fat? You're starting to eat fat and stuff. Your body says we're done. That's why you know. 
It's hard to eat a pound of bacon. It's not hard to eat a pound of bacon. <laughs> well, okay. I can I can eat a lot more weight in like chicken strips. Than you can in weight of ground beef or bacon. Yeah, because the fat content is mm -hmm. different. So, you know, a higher fat meat is going to make you full. Okay. Whereas a leaner meat is To gonna... shorten this real quick to make it super simple. Yes. We want high protein, but we also want our fats to be up there. So we if also, we're eating yes. leaner protein, That's we're our not energy. getting the fat. So we're the not... fat bomb would be a replacement for that. Correct. Okay. And that is a fat bomb is usually made with a good fat fat oil, such as coconut oil or butter or butter and things like that. And uh, it seems like un peanut butter, peanut butter, which I love a good organic unsweetened cocoa, mm -hmm. things like that. And which you I make, like. You make like these little bombs, little bombs, little bombs, yes, little fat bombs, and you put them in the freezer. Uh huh. And you. If you're feeling hungry, it's, uh -huh. that's gonna say that's gonna make you not hungry. Right. Right. Yes. And, and so, before he looked this up, I just thought a fat bomb's a little sweet treat, and that sounds good. And I was thinking it was too cold to do one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I yes. don't know if that helps you, but they, it helped me. They are a sweet treat. And understand. Basically, a fat bomb is very, very minimal carbohydrates, very little. It, it's just fat. Right. And just a bite of fat. And it, it's... Pretty much. Yes. And mm -hmm. instead of, if we have such a thing around the house, mm -hmm. it would be better to have that than it would to have a couple Reese's Pieces or any, any form of... Sugar. Yes. Because that actually has a benefit because, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking for a treat and you're actually getting a healthy fat source. I bet we could use Chalk Zero to make fat bombs with. Maybe. I bet. I bet they have some recipes, too. I, just, I, I would be just happy with coconut oil, mm -hmm. cocoa, and peanut, peanut butter. And peanut butter fat bombs. <laughs> so, yeah, I, we went out last night a little bit. We came back, and my motion light ain't working, so I have to fix that. I have to get a new one. Actually, I tried to fix it, and it won't work. I don't know why, but it's getting power. There's power there. It's just not working. Not working. So we have to go out and get a motion light. Mm -hmm. And our Facebook group is growing wonderfully. And we appreciate it so much. We, yes, we definitely appreciate that. We love all the conversation and everything in the Facebook group. Love. Love it. And maybe, you know, we talked about fat bombs today. We're trying to throw out a little bit of information more than just talking, you know, maybe some helpful information. Yep. As we always say, we are still learning every single day, and anything we learn, we will share with you. And next week's information will be probably controversial. Why? Cheat meals. We're going to have that discussion? We're going to have a conversation of cheat meals. Yes. Because we are going on vacation after, we are going on vacation next weekend. Right. So we will do the weigh-in Saturday, and we will do a cheat meal discussion. But just so everyone knows, we are going away for a week, and we are going to do our best. That doesn't mean that we are perfect. The last time we went on vacation, we, we came back. Perfect. We came back, and you know what? We were up. I gained a pound. Mm -hmm. I was up a pound when I came back. Yeah. So I consider that a win because... A lot of other things I realized this is, was is last fall. that when you make a long drive and when you're not sleeping in your bed and just stresses on your body, mm -hmm. even if you stay perfect, you could actually not lose weight or even gain weight due to just changes in your body, your sleep habit, mm -hmm. everything around you. So right. We are going to do our best, but we're human beings. <laughs> like we can cook bacon and we can take bacon with us and we can take the stuff with us. Mm hmm but that doesn't mean we're going to have enough. So we're going to do what we can. But the topic will be cheat meals. Should you have them? When to have them? And I can just give you a brief... And does that make you a failure? No. It doesn't make you a failure. I mean, some people are, are mean and they would be like, well, you're not clean keto. Or I've never claimed to be clean anything keto. Anything like that. Never have I claimed to be clean keto, ever. I have not either. 
ever. As a matter of fact, I've always been a little dirty. <laughs> little, but little we're, dirty. We're, we're going to talk about it. We'll talk about it next week. Um, no, I try, I try to be clean keto when it comes to the oils and stuff that I've heard, like the bad stuff, as mm -hmm. far as like soybean oil and canola oil, you can right. ask her. We got rid of that trash immediately. Yeah, it's within our household, other than Austin's crap that he brings home. I don't need any inflammatory thing in my arteries that yeah. I've already had. I've did it for 43 years, and mm. I don't need anything like that. But yeah. if a gram of sugar gets in my food... You know, I, I know that when we go when we go out to like rapid fire pizza or something like that, I know in their sauces and in, in the sausage mm -hmm. that they use because I can go to the store and I can buy cheap sausage that has carbs and it has a sugar in it. Yeah, I know that they're not using the top quality stuff that mm -hmm. doesn't have a gram of sugar in it. Agree. So Agree. all I can control is what I can control. Yeah. But quick insight: if you do have a cheap meal. Make it a meal and not a day. We're going to talk about that next week. Real quick, what did you eat for breakfast today? Or lunch, brunch, you really whatever want to you know? want to call it. Because, Real quick. Okay, sure. so I was hungry because she made omelets last night. And I'm not the biggest fan of omelets. He's not the biggest fan of eggs, period. I like hard boiled. So, so anyway, anyway, breakfast. Yes, so I got hungry again later and I did not eat last night. So I was starving. So for breakfast, I had three... Quarter pound cheeseburgers and about four pieces of bacon. I've really been missing bacon and we hadn't had it all week. Yeah. I had a quarter pound burger with two eggs scrambled and I probably ate about four pieces of bacon. We've been slacking on the bacon this week. Did you say you had a quarter pound burger? Is that what you made? Mm -hmm. quarter? Yeah, I did. You did? Mm -hmm. With cheese? Mm -hmm. Half a piece of American cheese. You know, I've made comments. Even, and butter even on my eggs. <laughs> if I was rich... If I was, if I was a billionaire, I would still love my hamburgers and cheeseburgers because I love them. Yeah. So we do um, have some running to do. We got lots of running to do, but we want to get this video up. Mm -hmm. And he rambles. On, I'm sorry. On. Just think of it as a podcast. Just listen. <laughs> there ain't nothing to see here. I'm only saying this. It's all over here. <laughs> right. My ear popped when we first started filming, and so I sound odd to myself. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful Saturday. And we'll see you later. Oh, you know what? <laughs> There's going to be a video coming up here soon before Wednesday, and what it is is it's, a, it's basically a YouTube channel trailer that's going to go that introduces people who, like the first time someone would click on our channel, it's going to be a channel trailer that plays for them. Mm -hmm. And so you, but you're going to see it upload as a regular video, but what it's going to be is it's an introduction to our channel. So it's just going to be like a short three minute video. But He's might, been talking about this for weeks. I've weeks. been planning it, it and writing it and I hope it turns out good. So <laughs> you guys have a great Saturday. Talk to you later.